Hey everyone, in the fourth video of the week, we are going to talk about kites and their properties. This video is about IXL and 11 on geometry curriculum. So before I start solving these questions, I want to go over some of the properties briefly about kites. Uh, the first thing that you need to know about a kite is that the diagonals are perpendicular. I hate this. Okay, uh, so the diagonals are going to be perpendicular. Let me use this space over here. So, this right here and that one here is going to meet at a 90 degrees angle. Next property. So, adjacent sides are going to be equal in length. These two are here, should be equal, and the other two, sorry about that, let me just remove that, and the other two should be equal, not all four of them, so each pair is equal. And there's one more property that I want to mention, uh, one of the opposite angles, angle pairs are equal, only one of them, either top bottom or left right. It should be only one pair. This is a very important property. So either the top and bottom are equal or it's going to be right and left. So only one pair of opposite angles are congruent. You might want to draw that figure and write that on a piece of paper when you work on this assignment. Okay, so let's get started and see what is given. We have two angles that are given. Our question is about angle Z. Angle Z is over here. We need to figure what that is. Out. And W and Y is given. Are they equal? That's the first question we need to ask. If the angles of a kite are given. So they are not equal. That means Z and X must be equal. So I'm going to use the same symbol for Z, X as well. Now, uh, kites are quadrilaterals, which means they have four sides, which means the sum of their interior angles must be 360 degrees. So I would normally set up, ideally I would set up an equation and get the X by itself, but I know you're not going to do it that way. So I'm going to use your method, guys. So the given two angles are 121 and 109 degrees. When we add these together, we have 330 degrees. Out of 360, we already have 230. So let's just take it away. 360 minus 230 is 130 degrees. This is the leftover for the two pink angles that I highlighted, X and Z. And I know they're equal because the other two were not equal. So 130 divided by 2 equals to 65 degrees. So angle Z equals to 65 and also angle X is equal to 65. Moving on to the next level and I will go back down one level or let's just do this, not yet. Let's just get back one level. I'm trying to find other properties, questions before I move on to that question. Let me see if this is uh, 8 times 8, 10 times, okay, let's do this one. So, uh, I don't have a calculator, but this one is something that I can figure out. Uh, that's why I picked this question. Quadrilateral BCDE is a kite. What is DF? DF is right here. It is part of a triangle. Let me highlight that triangle first. Right here. And right here. I really hope that you remember anything about what I said about the diagonals in the first problem in this video. The diagonals are perpendicular. So CE and BD are going to be perpendicular to each other, which leads us to angle F equals to 90 degrees. So my ne next question is, then what kind of triangle is this one that I highlighted? 
So it's a right triangle. How many sides are given? Two sides are given. One of them is a leg, 64. The other one is 80, that's the hypotenuse. So I know that side is the hypotenuse because it's right across from the 90 degrees. It's opposite the 90 degrees. So the ones that surround the 90 degrees uh, angle are called the legs. One of them is given 64, the other one is unknown, let's just say it's B. And then RC is 80. So this is the Pythagorean theorem. When you have two given sides in a right triangle, you can utilize the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Let's plug in whatever we have. By the way, it doesn't matter whether you say B or A for that unknown side. It makes no difference. But it matters what you say for 80. 80 should be the C. That should be all by itself because that's the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse stays all by itself on one side, either the right side or the left side. That doesn't matter. So, plugging in 64 for A, 64 squared plus B squared equals 80 squared. So, one of the Pythagorean triples is, I'm going to start with this one that I don't need. Actually, I do need this. So, uh, I don't have my calculators, but I do know how to solve this. And here is uh, here's my method. You, all you need to do is calculate what that 64 squared is, what that 80 squared is, subtract them, and then square root that number. That's what you need to do. Uh, if I multiply this triple by 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10. And now, oh, wait a second. Did I make a mistake? I thought I could calculate this without any calculators, but mm, let me see. Mm. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. So, if I multiply each one of these numbers by 8, 10 becomes 80, 8 becomes 64, and then 6 becomes 48. And then I have 64 over here, 80 over here, and that side must be 48. So, my answer is going to be 48. You can go ahead and then test it out. Six, square that 64 and 80, subtract them, and then square root the number. You should end up with a 48. Okay, let's just see another question using another property, if we can. This is the same opposite angles. Uh, I'm going to go back and forth and see if they're going to... This is the diagonals Pythagorean theorem. It's the same. Trying to find another question, if I can. It's. I think it's either the angles or diagonals. I don't think there's any other property that they are going to have. Oops. Uh, let's see if there's anything in the learned examples. No. I'll try one more time. And if not, I'm done. Okay, that's it. There's no other type of questions. It's either going to be uh, opposite angles being equal for one pair only, or diagonals are going to be perpendicular and you're going to end up with a right triangle. You're going to utilize Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, Thanks for watching the video guys. If you really think that the video helped you out to get your assignment done, please uh, hit the thumbs up button and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in another video.